Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Joachim Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Pentecost, Sunday, June 12, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all gathered together in one place, and suddenly a sound came from heaven like the rush of a mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues as of fire, distributed and resting on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound the multitude came together, and they were bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. And they were amazed and wondered, saying, are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in his own native language, Parthians and Medes and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians? We hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. And today's gospel readings from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 7, verses 37 through 52, and chapter 8, verse 12. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and proclaimed, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, which those who believed in him were to receive. For as yet the Spirit had not yet been given, because Jesus had not yet been glorified. When they heard these words, some of the people said, This is really the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But some said, Is the Christ to come from Galilee? Has not the scripture said that the Christ has descended from David, and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was? So there was a division among the people over him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers then went back to the chief priests and the Pharisees who said to them, Why did you not bring him in? And the officers answered, No man ever spoke like this man. And the Pharisees answered them, Are you led astray, you also? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd who do not know the law are accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to him before, who was one of them, said to them, Does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and hearing what he does? They replied, Are you from Galilee too? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to rise from Galilee. And again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So when we look at the readings for this Feast of Pentecost, we have within the Troparion of Pentecost an interesting statement the statement goes like this. When the high one descended, confusing tongues, he divided the nations. And when he distributed fiery tongues, he called all to one unity. Wherefore, in unison, we glorify the most Holy Spirit. That's the Kentuckian, and here is the uh, Apolitikion, or the Troparion of Pentecost. Blessed art thou, o Christ our God, who has received the fishermen as most wise, having sent upon them the Holy Spirit, and through them thou hast fished the universe. O lover of mankind, glory to thee. So looking at these two hymns, the first, the Kentuckian, which is actually read second, speaks of how God divided the tongues, confused them, and caused division amongst the people. This is a recalling of the story of the Tower of Babel, in Genesis, when you look at that particular reading, they speak of being able to build a tower all the way up into heaven so that they can visit, come, and go as they pleased. That, of course, would put them at almost equal standing with God. And that, of course, at that point in time especially, would be considered, well, just not possible. So what God chose to do at that point is give each person a different language so that when they tried to communicate with one another, they could not understand each other. And so they couldn't build a tower anymore. And so they all left and spread across the land. 
So that's what we're saying here. When the high one descended, confusing tongues, he divided the nation. And when he distributed the fiery tongues, he called all to one unity. That one unity, of course, is in Christ. And that shows the reconciliation of humans to one to another because when the apostles come out of the upper room, they're able to speak in languages that are understandable to foreigners. So the language barrier has been breached. But in addition to that, there's also the barrier that exists between God and humans. And with what Christ did through his self-sacrifice, his ascension into heaven, his destruction of death by death, all of those things, we have reconciliation with God. And so that division also has been uh, taken apart. And so in unison, then, all nations then give glory to the one who has saved us all. And we glorify the Most Holy Spirit who gives us the ability to make utterance in that way. And then in the first thing, the Apolitiki on the revealing of the fishermen as most wise, it's always important to notice that the first seminarians, so to speak, were fishermen, unskilled, unlearned, unlettered. Well, they had skills in fishing, but not skills in rhetoric. But yet the Holy Spirit empowered them to be able to be great orators and great speakers and great healers. And so it is through the Holy Spirit that these gifts are given. It is through the Holy Spirit and not through human effort that these things are given. And that, again, is an important reminder to us that our brains do not save us. It's good to use our brains to the best of their ability, but it is not advisable to make that an idol. People tend to lean too much on their brains instead of faith and humility. And when they do, well, it's usually not something that ends up well. So these are the things to ponder through the Holy Spirit. Humanity is reconciled both to itself and to God. And through the Holy Spirit, Wisdom is imparted, not just on those who are considered the wisest or the intellectuals of the people, but to everybody. But that is also not to say that we despise the intellectuals. Instead, we put everything in its proper place. God gets the glory. and Everything that we have then needs to be given back to him in his service. So a blessed feast to you. And before I continue, I just want to thank you very much for watching these videos over these many years. I'm very grateful for your presence and your support. And um, God willing, we'll continue on with this particular ministry um, for as long as we can. Um, but I'm very grateful for the time that you spend with me. And I'm grateful you're willing to listen to the readings and to my reflections. And I want to make sure that you understand that from the bottom of my heart, I greatly appreciate you and your presence here. So may God bless you and keep you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. I do pray that you have a great day, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you again. Have a great day.